13 News Now at 11 begins with a look at the Port of Virginia. It's been much quieter than usual there today. Yeah, at midnight, tens of thousands of dock workers up and down the East Coast walked off the job after the International Longshoremen's Association and the U.S. Maritime Alliance failed to reach a deal. Workers at the Port of Virginia have been on the picket lines protesting all day and into the night. The union is asking for better wages and work conditions, specifically to boost pay to 177000 over the next six years and add protections against automated machines. Workers told us they'll stay out there as long as needed. We're not trying to hold up anything. We're not trying to stop anything. But just like anyone else and other companies, we have a right to protest. And now that our contract has expired, that is our decision. And tonight, there are a lot of questions about what this strike means for consumers. That's right. Stephanie Johnson joins us in the studio after speaking with shoppers. Stephanie, what can you tell us? Yeah, that's right, guys. I spoke to some shoppers tonight who say they headed to the store because they're worried about items like toilet tissue disappearing from off shelves, and they hope the strike will end soon. While union workers hit the picket lines, people are running to Harris Teeter in Norfolk to stock up on groceries. Just get ready and be prepared for it. toiletries, groceries, er everything that your family needs. I've got coworkers that have six month old babies. Um, they need formula and there's no formula on the shelves. Elizabeth Erickson says the rush reminds her of the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic shutdown. Yeah, I hope that everyone can kind of come to an agreement um, because people are being affected. I mean, the grocery prices in there. Um, I remember during the pandemic, the cost of everything, there was no paper products, and I'm just worried that might happen again. Across social media, people are sharing images of empty store shelves like this one. But TCC Professor Emeritus of Business Administration Peter Shaw says there's no need to panic shop. But if you want to stockpile, don't run out there like there's going to be a hurricane tomorrow morning and stockpile. Uh, I would only buy a marginal amount because I think it's going to be solved. And resolve the strike's going to be resolved quicker uh, than people think. Shaw says if the union does not reach a deal soon, then the cost of groceries could rise. If we get this thing solved, say within two weeks to no more than a month, very little impact to the consumer. We get p past a month, then it's a new territory, and I think we're going to be facing price increases, which will affect the inflation rate. Well, Shaw also says consumers may see a slight price increase on perishable items because they have a shorter shelf life. But again, he believes a strike will be solved soon. Stephanie Johnson, 13 News Now. All right. Thanks so much, Stephanie. Well, tonight, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin is calling on President Joe Biden to put an end to the strike, saying in part such inaction has jeopardized the economy, economic security and well-being of America. Biden has previously said he will not intervene and is instead urging the U.S. Maritime Alliance to reach a fair agreement quickly.